now looking at a medial uh, point of view here, or sorry, a mid sagittal section seen from a lateral point of view. So we've got the respiratory system uh, to look for. Here we're looking at the nasal cavity and the first part, the entryway here is the nasal vestibule. So just this little part here is nasal vestibule. Then within the nasal cavity, we can see the superior, middle and inferior nasal concave. And then we can see that the, if we put a line right here where the pointer is, that's where the nasal cavity ends. So after that, after that line, so this space in here behind the soft palate is the naso pharynx. So that region in there is the nasopharynx. If I wanted to pin it, I'd probably pin it right in the middle so that you, it's not right near the boundaries. Now there is a structure you need to know in the nasopharynx and it's this little hole here which is the opening of the pharyngotympanic tube. So there's a tube there that goes up to your middle ear and that one used to be called the eustachian tube, now called the pharyngotympanic tube. So that's the opening there. But from here to here is nasopharynx. Now then inferior to the nasopharynx, so from the tip of the uvula here, end of the soft palate, down to the superior tip of the epiglottis here, so just this region in here, this is the oropharynx. So it's the part of the pharynx that's behind the oral cavity, which we can see here. So this is the oropharynx. So nasopharynx up here, oropharynx here, and then just posterior to the larynx here, this is the laryngopharynx. So it starts here, ends here. So this space in here, laryngopharynx. Now, anterior to that, we have this region here, which is the larynx. <coughs> now, there's quite a few structures we need to know that are on or associated with the larynx. So to begin with, we have the epiglottis. Now, the blue bit here is the cartilage of the epiglottis, so that's part of it. But it's covered by a membrane, and so we can also see part of it here. Now, the epiglottis, remember, is the bit that's going to fold down like so when you swallow so that any food or fluid that's running down this way to go to the stomach through the esophagus here doesn't get into the larynx. So it's going to close over the top of the larynx there. So this is epiglottis here. And anterior to the epiglottis, and it's only small on this model, is the hyoid bone. So we can see it just here in cross-section. If we were to turn the model over this way, of course, we see a bit more of it. We can see part of the hyoid bone here. But from this point of view, it's only small. It's just a little bit we can see there. Probably worth zooming in at this point to get a better look at it. So there's the hyoid bone just there. Now, inferior to that, we have in blue the thyroid cartilage. And again, from an anterior point of view, we can see a little bit more of it. But from this mid-sagittal view, we can just see it in cross-section here. So that's the thyroid cartilage. Now the thyroid cartilage doesn't go all the way around to the back of the larynx. So that's the only bit of it really we can see on this model. It doesn't, it's not a complete ring. So what we can see over here is not thyroid cartilage. But what it is, is the next cartilage down, which is the cricoid cartilage. Now it's, it is a complete ring. It's short at the front, tall at the back. So cricoid cartilage is both here and here. So if either of those is pinned, that's cricoid cartilage. Now inferior to the cricoid cartilage, then we have two blue cartilages here. They're the first two C-shaped cartilages of the trachea. So these little blue dots here, C-shaped cartilages. Now then back up in the larynx though, we have a couple of folds. So here, the more superior one, this line here, is a vestibular fold. And then this more inferior one is the vocal fold, and that's commonly called the vocal cord. So the vocal fold, and if we turn the model up this way, you'll see that the vocal fold 
protrudes medially, so it sticks into the towards the middle of the larynx, further than the vestibular fold. So there's our vocal fold there. There's our vestibular fold above it. There's a little space in between. Now, that means though that the, we saw the cricoid cartilage here earlier. Once we get to the bottom of the cricoid cartilage, we're out of the larynx now and into the trachea. So if there was a pin here, that's part of the trachea. At the back of the trachea, there's no C-shaped cartilage because they're only C-shaped. They only go around to the side. They don't go all the way around to the back to form a complete ring. So this bit here, the back of the trachea, is the trachealis muscle. So that's actually a muscle. It's at the back of the trachea, posterior aspect, trachealis.